When you're searching for the right keywords to use inside of your marketing content, how do you know which ones to use? Hey y'all, my name is Corey Ashton and welcome to another WordPress Wednesday. We're doing a series this month on search engine optimization. Last week we looked at SEO versus SEM. Which one's right for you? If you've missed that video, I'll put a link to it in the description box below. This week we're going to continue talking about keywords. It's really important to understand what keywords your audience is searching for and best practices when using them inside of your content. So in this tutorial, I will walk you through what is a keyword, how to find the ones your audience is looking for, and what tools might be out there to help you get the job done. Let's dive in. Let me start by explaining what are keywords. At the simplest form, they're words or phrases that customers use to describe your product or service, and they'll use these keywords to search for you online. I'll give you a few examples. Let's start first with a service-based company. So let's take an example of a roofing company. If somebody were to go to Google to search for your services, they might search for something like fix my roof or roofing company or roof repair near me. Perhaps they'll use best roofing company Boston or San Antonio. You'll want to think about other keywords or phrases that individuals would search for looking for your service. An example of a product-based service, maybe you're selling a product. This example is for dog food. Maybe they would use a term like best dog food or organic dog food. Perhaps they have an older dog and they'll do a search for healthiest dog food for older dogs. Maybe they have a brand new puppy and they're looking for the best puppy food. You can see here that it's not just one single word. A lot of times we're finding that consumers look for a phrase. So how do you find these keywords? Which ones are your customers actually looking for? There are some really great tools out there, y'all, that fall in the budget of free as well as paid. You can check out a Chrome extension called Keywords Everywhere. You just add that onto your browser and you can check out keywords across competitors' websites or even on YouTube. That's a really cool, awesome extension to check out. Moz.com is another resource for you. Answer the Public has some really fun and free options for you to use there. And Keyword Spy gives you some really neat insights as well. I'm gonna show you an example though of one of my favorite tools. And that's SEM Rush. I'll put a link to it in the description box below. You can come here, type in a keyword, and perform a really cool search. It's going to give you broad match as well as phrase match, exact match, and related matches. All of these are really incredible to resource. If we were to take a look deeper at broad match, you'll see a search volume letting you know on average how much volume or how many people are searching for this type of key phrase. Those of you who are looking for the SEM side of paid marketing, you might even be able to find some awesome insight as to the cost per click on average for that competitive keyword. Something really cool about this tool as well, you can get a free trial just to test it and see if you love it. Again, check out that link below. There's all sorts of really incredible tools that SEM Rush gives you that allows you to check backlinks and allows you to check competitors' websites as well as really keeping an eye on your own performance. If you really wanted to stay in the budget of free, you can check out trends.google.com. I'll put the link to this in the description box below. But let's continue with our roofing example. And we can see a set trend line. You can also see across the United States per state and, and where the volume is for that type of search term. Let's do a comparison though. This is a really neat part of this totally free tool. Let's compare best roofing company. And we can start to see 
that roof repair near me is by far outmeasured versus best roofing company. Again, this is a very simple approach to keyword research, but if you need to stay in that budget of free, this is a great place to start. If you scroll down a little bit more on the page, you can start to see some related queries that will help you start to get creative with optional keywords. Another great place to look at, totally in the budget of free, is Google Suggestive Search. You'll find that if you click on Google and start to type in your key phrase, roofing company, and you'll start to see their suggested search terms that are trending in your direct area. This is really cool insight to not overlook. Another place you'll find those is when you're searching down below all of your content, down toward the bottom of a search results page, you'll find some additional related search terms. These are the ones most trending in your area. Wonderful, so now that I've found them, how do I actually use them? Well, you can always include them in your content. Add them to your headlines. We've fixed roofs in Austin, Texas since 2014. Maybe we can say something like, customers say we're the best roofing company in Texas. The more you're able to include the higher volume search terms in your content on your website, the higher you'll rank organically. Y'all, I hope that was so helpful for you. Be sure to check out my entire playlist here dedicated to SEO. And subscribe to my channel. Come back with me next week as we talk about on-site SEO. I'll see you then. Bye, everyone. Thank you.